Hello everybody, my name is Roman Rodriguez and I'll be doing uh, additional mathematics chapter 23 vectors. Okay, and uh, we've already studied the basic concepts of vectors in the previous two lessons, lesson 1 and lesson 2. That was about uh, uh, similar vectors or uh, same vectors and or equal vectors. And we also discussed about uh, negative vector and scalar multiplication of vectors. We then discussed about the addition of vectors, the three laws based on addition of vectors, the triangular law, the parallelogram and the cumulative law of addition of vectors. We also discussed uh, unit vector and uh, zero vector and null vector and also about subtraction of vector. Today uh, in lesson number three, I will be solving the first exercise of this chapter, exercise 23.1, question number two. Okay, it's very simple. And uh, this is the diagram that we have in this question, a grid with uh, parallel lines as you can see, the vector PQ, AB and RS. Then we have one vector which is moving along horizontally, okay, along the x-axis. So in the diagram AB, this vector AB is equal to A. Let me just get another one. AB is equal to A. And we have uh, CD equals to B. This right here you can see CD is equals to B. So what do we do? Uh, we need to find PQ and RS in terms of A. PQ and RS in terms of A. So let's solve the first one. PQ, first PQ. PQ, as you know the length from year to year vector AB is equals to A. So this would be A and A. So PQ is equals to A plus A, which is equals to 2A. So there you are, we got vector PQ equals to 2A. Now, the next term we need to find is RS, okay, RS, RS in terms of A. Now here we have RS, again this length diagonally is equals to A, so A plus A plus A, we have 3A, okay, 3A, this is what RS is equals to. Clear? So we just solved the first part of the question number 2, A, what is PQ and RS in terms of A. So we got 2A and 3A as the answer is right. Now let's move on to the B part. QS in terms of B. This is QS in terms of B. QS. Now for vector QS, we know that CD is equal to B. This length of this vector, the grid, is equal to B. So we'll say B plus B plus B from Q to S. So QS is equal to B plus B plus B. That will give you 3B. So the vector QS is equal to 3B. Now the third part, C, the vector PS. In terms of A and B, PQ and RS we have to find in terms of A. QS we have to find in terms of B. Now we have to find PS in terms of A and B. So where's PS? This is P and if I take it up to S, here we have S. Okay, this is P, S. This is the resultant vector. So we will have to take this vector and add this vector. So let's say this point is X. So PS is equals to, if this is one vector, PX plus we have another vector XS x and s. So now, let's count. This is so horizontal, so the vector is, this is equal to b plus b plus b. So we have px equals to b plus b plus b plus and vector x, s. As you know, this is a and a. So we have a plus a. So b plus b plus b will give you 3b a plus a will give you 2a. So our resultant vector ps is equals to 3b plus 2a. Okay, so ps is equals to 3b plus 2a. I hope it's clear to you all. I'll be doing uh, question number 4 in my next lesson. Till then, take care.